אוקיי, זו פרשת מקץ חנוכה, פיף קנדול, נתיבות שלום, פייג' עין רש בית, ערב, או רעב, בת ערב is better, so the topic is אין נבון וחכם כמוך, there is nobody smart like you, wise wisdom, that have wisdom and is wise like you. So after Hashem, right, so this is what Paro is saying, right, so Yosef is uh, resolving the dream to, to Pharaoh, and he's even giving him like a, a consultation what he needs to do, and Paro is amazed by him, okay. So yes, Loma, we should say, what's the Kavanah here? According to what the Maran Asaba Kadosh Mislonim Zechuto Egan Lenu, he said, From, from our sages in Masechet Kiddushin, he said, המקדשת האישה על מנת שאני צדיק גמור, אפילו רשע גמור מקודשת, שם ערער תשובה בדעתו. So over there they're talking about how you can מקדש, uh, sanctify the woman, right, that she was going to be a wife. So somebody says, I'm going to מקדש her uh, on the condition that I'm a complete righteous person. And he actually is a wicked person. He said, no, that works. It's apply. Why? Because maybe at that time he repent. So said it's a it's a wonder, it's a question. How a wicked person will, will change, will convert in one thought of uh, of uh, repent, and he will turn into a righteous person, a complete. And our sages said, right, the Ramadayak in Lashonam, Shema Er Chuva Bedaakto. Maybe he was thinking about repent in his da'at. And he said, not in his heart. Because the da'at include two midot, right? Chokhmah and bina. Wisdom and understanding. I think it's like, a, a, like a, a smartness maybe and, and wisdom. I think wisdom is the ability to understand one thing from another, right? Like a, this is the bina. He says, So the, 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 the intellect or the, uh, the, 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 the smart part is in the brain. And the bina, the wisdom is in the, in the heart. But here they said that, in that, so I'm, I'm not sure I'm using the right uh, English word. So chokhmah and bina. Bina is really someone that can, he can, learn so many things and know them by heart, but if it doesn't have the ability really to look at the big picture holistically and said, oh, actually this is what should come out or this is what I, uh, I understand, you know, out of all the, the knowledge that we have, then this, this is actually Bina, right? Because a computer can remember many things, but it doesn't make him with that. So he said, yes, Tshuva, there is a repent, that the source of it is from the brain, from the Moach. which is coming out from uh, Avana Sikhlit, like from, from an intellect, from a conclusion. Pros and cons is making calculation, whatever. The yes tshuva, and there is a repent that is, the source of it is coming from the emotions of the heart. He said, indeed, a perfection, in, in a tshuva, a complete tshuva, repent, actually need to come from both of them together. And when they said, Shema Yerher Tshuva Bedato, maybe he was thinking about Tshuva and his Da'at, which means Tshuva in the Midah that, that like that level of Midah of Da'at, of wisdom, that including the Chokhmah Mocha, the, 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 uh, the, the, the brain, and the heart. And this type of Tshuva, which is coming from the brain and from the heart, that's a complete Tshuva. And that type of Tshuva, have the ability really to convert a wicked person into a righteous person. And therefore the woman is Mekudeshet. So according to what we just learned, we can say also in this Pasuk, right, Paro, after Hashem inform you all of the dreams and the resolution and what does it mean, etc. Which means, that you like a, a, achieved the level of that. And that's a sign that there is nobody smarter than you because you achieve the chokhmah and the tvuna, not only the intellect, but also the wisdom. And that's including both. 
And also he igdim navon lechacham. He said like you're a navon before you are chacham. And also in the in another place, when when Yosef is telling Paro, vata ire Paro ish navon lechacham. So said now Paro need to find right uh, uh, <laughs> publishing LinkedIn that you are hiring. You need to hire a, a man that is smart and wise. Navon lechacham, right. And that level, that Madrega Zon Emra Al Yosef, that he has the Midah of the Da'at. Why? Because Yosef is the Midah Yesod. But he says, so is the like the foundation, right? There are Midot. Chokma, Bina, Da'at, right? And Yesod. And what's, what's like a blemish, like the beginning of the, the blemish in that uh, Midah is the Bemoa Chadat, it's in the brain. He said here as known. And Yosef Tzadik was a Tzadik in that level, and he was pure, with no blemish. And that's why he achieved the Shlemut Adat. So he doesn't say here, because he said it's known. So the Midah of Yesod, it's the foundation, it's the core. And the if you look at the diagram of the Midot, then it's actually when the body ends. In that organ, in that thing that we multiply with. And the sperm coming, actually, the beginning of it is coming from the brain. And if somebody is doing zera le batala, just wasting the sperm on nothing, then actually he's starting to damage his brain. This is what the effect is. And that's why I say here, because Yosef was pure in that thing, then that's why he was able to achieve the, the that level of that. Because when, when somebody has right a blemish in the brain because of this thing because of these desires etc and he actually is doing things he's doing it then he become confused and he's lacking the perfection of the in the dot is is lacking he started to think about stupid things that's why he said after hashem inform you ah you achieve the level of that because then there was nobody smart and, and and wise like you that have no no blemish at all and your brain is perfect. And now there is a hunger, right? Everybody is hungry over there, and there is no uh, no food. And they were screaming right to Pharaoh, to the leader, for bread, give us food. And then Pharaoh is telling them, right, go to Yosef. Whatever he tell you to do, if you want to eat, you need to do it. Right? And I said, you said, in Bereshit Abba, so they, they come to Pharaoh. And they said, we're hungry, we don't have food. He said, why didn't you collect food? You had seven years. Everybody knew it was all over. All over the news, all of seven years, we had a good time. And we, we were talking about it, that after these seven years, we're not going to have food anymore. So start to gather, aggregate food. And they said, yeah, we did it. But everything got rotten and spoiled. Everything that we collected. So he said, why? So what was the main blemish or the main negative thing of uh, Egypt was immorality thing, and therefore there was a hunger over there. Why? Because everything or the wit got rotten because that blemish of the desire of the erva of immorality is causing rotten. Right? He says, "Badash the chetor again, and on the pasuk ve'itapak, right? That like Yosef was like holding himself. Ve'omer simu lechem put the bread. So he said, yeah, literally Yosef was holding himself from crying, and he said, okay, let's let's start and eat. But on a spiritual level, on a Hasidut level, when a Jew is holding himself from fulfilling his desires, Hashem say, okay, bring him lechem, and lechem is the gashmiut, everything. It's not literally bread." And Mitzrayim, they are the opposite from holding themselves. They're doing it. And therefore, V'tirav Mitzrayim l'alechem. And we saw that in the Makat Bechorot, when it said there was, everybody died, you know, from uh, from the one in the in the jail, in the pit, and in the palace. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, in one house, they have like five uh, firstborn died, right, from different fathers. Right, same woman, different fathers. And the poor husband didn't know. It was a mess. Why? Because that was the uh, that was the desire, and that's why all the food that they 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 collected spoiled, rotten, and they were hungry. So now, go to Yosef. Anything he will tell you to do, do, right? 
And our Sergio said that Yosef told them, okay, do Brit Mila. And he said, there is no other way for you to eat. You have to fix that blemish. And they did Brit Mila. And I think we learned it uh, before, and uh, I learned it from Sefer Ahavat uh, Chaim, uh, from the Chacham and Ashe, when he looking at the whole picture, when he said, first, when Yosef was in jail, uh, he told the Sarah of him, right, uh, remember me, please, and tell uh, Paro that Ganov Gunavti, Meretz Avrim, right, that I was uh, kidnapped, I was stolen, I was uh, sold to be a slave from Canaan, right, said, who cares? First, that was very common at the time, slavery, and this is what they used to do, kidnap people and then sell them as uh, slaves. So the king of Egypt really is going to be care about you sitting in jail, innocent, you know, everybody in jail are innocent, right? They don't belong there, and, and you were kidnapped from the from the nun. And then later on, when Yosef became the ruler, then he telling him to do Brit Milah, and, and Pharaoh said, yeah, sure, why? So I think we mentioned that before. There was a tribe that is in a history called the Hyksos, and they were shepherds. Uh, shepherds were Tovat Mitzrayim. They didn't like it because the sheep were their god. But this uh, uh, tribe invaded Egypt, and it took the throne, and that was Paro. And they used to live in Canaan, and they were good friends with Avraham Avinu, and they were also doing Brit Mila at the time. So that's why Yosef sent him a message, says, I'm from the neighborhood. You know, I'm your neighbor. I'm here in the jail. They kidnapped me from Canaan. And that's why later on, Paro, on a political level, when Paro, when Yosef said, let's, let's, you know, you want to eat, you have to do Brit Milah. Paro said, very good. Politically, everybody will do Brit Milah because they hated it. <coughs> that was the thing that after Yosef died, right? Some say it was a different king and some said it was a king that uh, like turned his back to Yosef. That was the same Paro because on a political level, they told him, we're going to throw you from the throne unless if you comply with us, with our plan. But he didn't want to do it. But still, he didn't want to lose his, uh, his throne. So now, Yosef is telling the Egyptian, okay, you have to, you want to eat, you have to do Brit Mila. Okay. Why? And there is no etza, no other advice, because only to have this fix of the middle of Yosef, of the Yesod. And that is related to the Da'at. Right, and this was hinted after it says, And the same aspect, same context we have in Shabbos, and it said in Shmot, Sefer Shmot, Ladat, right, to know the Dat again, Ladat to know is also the Dat, the wisdom. Right, I am Hashem sanctify you because the Shabbos influence our Dat at the level of the Dat, and as it says in Sefer Bereshit, that the, the, the wisdom of Shabbos appear when the light appear, right, of the three shalosh rishonot, right, the three ones. It says Chabad, right? Chabad is the uh, the Hasidut movement, right, that's called Chabad. It's an acronym. Chokhmah, Bina, and Da'at, which are basically here up in the head. And from that revelation of the light, all the negative thing, evil inclination, etc., etc., are running away from it because they could not stand that spiritual light, which is all positive. Right? And they bring it from the Zohar, they're all going run away, they're getting afraid, etc. So they're all going away from the glory and from the from the Gidusha of that spiritual light that appeared on Shabbat Kodesh. And he said, and if the uh, the Sitracha, the other side, that negative things, that light causing them to go away, then for us, when we have that, that light coming down, then actually we are gaining more wisdom. What the Chida wrote in Nachal Gdumim, in the name of the Rishit Chuchma on the Pasuk, right, that you repent or you return and up to Hashem Elokecha. Veshavta, it's also the letter Shabbat. Right? Tashuv to return. Shabbat is like tshuva, right? So he said when he explained that a sin that the person Chas Vechalila did causing an external blemish and an internal blemish. It says, So to, to fix, to correct the external blemish, uh, repent and crying help, but the inner blemish uh, needs to be fixed only by the light of the Shekhinah, that light for us. And that spiritual light will purify him from that blemish, the internal blemish, again, the spiritual blemish. And for that, we need Shabbos. Why? Because Shabbat iladat kani Hashem ekadishchem. That Hashem influence on Shabbos, that light of the middle of the dot of the wisdom, 
And by that, we have the, the merit and we gain tikkun midat adat. And the Shabbat will purify our dot, our head. And that's an inner tahara, inner purity. And therefore, Shabbos is very capable for us, the Shubet Shuvah. And that helps also to the blemish that he says, like, a regular repent do not help that. Right? Like, really, really bad ones. And Katuv, he says, in the, and also in the Parashat Shuvah, he says, if some of us, would be the end of the, you know, the, the, in the end of the, uh, the, the heavens, Right, metaphorically, Hashem will bring you from there, and He will take you from there. And He says, "Ita bezoa kadosh." What does it mean? Kitzei Hashemaim, the tip of heaven. This is the midah yisod, right, the end of the body between the two legs. And Yosef at Tzadik was all his week was like like Shabbos in that Torah, in pure wisdom, pure pure that. And he gained that after Hashem informed him everything called zot. But He said, "He we said He said here." Any Jew can gain that on Shabbos. When that spiritual light coming down, then he, we know that Hashem sanctifies us. And this is our sage says, right? So Hashem is telling Moshe, I have like a very good present in my, uh, my, my treasure box or treasure uh, storage. And it's called Shabbat. I'm going in for them. Which means, or the am also the it's to inform it. It's also the the letter of that, the a, which means planting them, rooting them, to make the preparation for Shabbat and keep Shabbat in order to receive the level of that. Shabbat iladat kani Hashem mekadishchem letayer adat sheli purify, and everything in Gidusha needs a preparation. And actually, for Shabbat, <laughs> we're doing lots of preparation, right, with the cooking and cleaning and everything. It's it's on the on the physical level, but actually it's the it's the spiritual level that we're doing that. That will help us. The more we put the sweat and everything, and, and the same thing with uh, with Pesach and building sukkah and everything. Whenever the mitzvah it's really a big mitzvah, then we have a lot of preparation. Even when you don't think that it's related, but it is. It is. And this preparation, Hashem told Moshe, tell Bnei Israel, because that will purify your dad. So we started with the with the with the quote from Paro that says that Ish Navun Vechacham, right? You're a very smart, wise person, and he saw that after Hashem informed him all of that, and then, and and that was one of the reason why he he nominated him to be the ruler, and he said, you know, Raka Kiseh, only the the throne, right, will be the difference between you and me. He will be higher than you. Yeah, only the throne. So Bezat Hashem. We should all have the midat adat of uh, of Yosef, and we should see big revelation. Everybody will be uh, bari, right, healthy, and let's dedicate the shiur to Ilui Neshamat, Rivka Sarah Bat Hirsch. Yes, amen. Thank you for listening.